How we doing, everybody? Back at you with another video. Um, I wanted to do this video because God was just sharing something with me uh, in my worship time about how He desires leaders uh, to live a pressure free life. I know as a leader, oftentimes leaders can accumulate pressure. Because of the added responsibility, you know, they, they feel pressure to perform, pressure to do things right. And God shared with me that he limits uh, what a leader has authority over and or skips the opportunity or disregards the opportunity for someone to become a leader because they have too much pressure you know they can't handle the pressure you know sometimes people like pressure you know leaders you know a lot of them like pressure it makes them feel like they're doing a good job it makes them feel like they care but god was sharing with me that one of the biggest reasons that he doesn't want his or, or want leaders to have pressure is because if you're a leader whatever's on you is going to get on what you're leading whether that's people you know uh, resources you know if you're if you're living a pressure filled life he was saying to me that the people that work for you are also going to feel that pressure you know people that are following the leader they share in what that leader have working in his life you know the story of Moses when you know he had to you know his his father-in-law Jethro came and, and told him you know look Moses you have too much you know responsibility on you to take care of these people why don't you appoint men that can help you carry the load okay and that's when Moses called forth men that can carry a load and he transferred load to them you know predicated on what he thought that person you know that man can handle so God desires for leaders to live a, 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 a pressure free life Okay, because God anointed those men to be able to carry the load to help Moses. You know, there's another story where Joshua was fighting the battle. And as long as Moses as long as Moses had his hands up and had his arms up, they were winning the battle. Okay. So When his when his leg when his hands and arms fell as they began to fall and and, and not be raised, Joshua and his army began to lose the battle. So on the flip end, you know, if you have a leader. One of your jobs is to help him carry that load. You you want you don't want a, a leader that's stressed out, that's pressured. You know what I mean? You want to alleviate that pressure. Because whatever you all are working on together is going to have detrimental effects because the leader has too much pressure. You know, the, 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 you know, when God 
designate someone as a leader, th there's a there's a responsibility that that leader has. It's an accountability. It's a a promotion for that person to have something on their life get on the people that are that are under them that they are leading and that leader you know when you, when 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 a leader is designated in your life you know that leader has a sense of authority it, over your life in a sense I give you an example I give you an example when Elijah you know was going to be caught up you know in heaven to go be with God he asked his servant what Elisha what he wanted and Elisha wanted a double portion of his anointing and so because Elisha stayed with Elijah, Elijah had the authority, and Elisha received him as his own father. You know, the Bible, you know, if you actually read the scripture, the Bible repeatedly, you know, the people, you know, repeatedly ask Elisha, do you know that your father's going to be leaving? Do you know that your father's going to be leaving? You know, they, they kept, they kept referring to Elijah as his father and he kept saying yes 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 so when you when when someone becomes your father and you're accepting someone as your father they have a level of say so authority over your life to the point where now Elijah was able to transfer or give Elijah I mean Elisha a double portion of his anointing on his, on his life. Then, uh, you know, fast forward the story. Elisha had a servant that received a gift that he shouldn't have received. You know, someone came for healing of leprosy. And, uh, you know, uh, Elisha gave him instructions on what he needed to do. And, and basically the story went, the person wanted to give him, Elijah, a gift because he uh you know for the instruction that he gave him uh to heal his leprosy you know and so elijah had said you know elisha had said no i don't you know i don't i don't you know he, he didn't accept his gift and his servant knowing this accepted the gift on elisha's behalf so that he can keep it and so, because of the words spoken by Elisha, his servant then had leprosy because of the, the sin he committed, you know. So, and, and to give a modern day example, you know, even today, I just, I thank you, I thank Jesus because God really was, you know, was, uh, you know, was, I really was uh, in faith for the, the, the uh, uh, one of my workers. He hasn't been feeling well and, uh, you know, basically, you know, he said, you know, look, I'm getting a COVID test. I haven't come in. So, you know, I want to, you know, uh, you know, I, I, I'm just letting you know I'm going to take this COVID test. That's why I'm not coming in today. And I ended up hitting him back. And, you know, that was yesterday he told me he was going for the COVID test. Today, he hit me back. I, well, I hit him, and I asked him, you know, hey, how's everything going? He said, okay, I'm still waiting for the results. They said 24 hours, 48 hours. You should get the results today. And I 
I said to myself, I'm, I'm gonna believe for his, uh, you know, for protection on his family, on in, on and on him, so that you know, uh, you know, he'd get a negative report. I said I was using uh, Exodus 23 and 25 when God says, "Look, if you serve me, I take uh, sickness away from the midst of you, and I uh, bless your your bread and your water." So I said, God, I, I don't, I'm not, you know, that's why it's important for a leader to be, to, to, to labor, to, to be stronger spiritually, mentally, because when you're stronger mentally and mentally and spiritually, you can help other people with what they're going through. So I said, God, you know, I believe you. Exodus 23 and 25. I believe that you take sickness away from the midst of me. How, how so? I, I haven't been sick since I've been married for the last 10 years. And even before that, it was... But for the last 10 years... I don't remember the last time I've been sick. I, it might have been one time. You know, I was telling people today, I, I worked every day for the year 2020, six days a week. That's when the, the COVID really just first hit no fear i said i can't get sick you know that's just my mentality it's just what i believe in my heart i serve him at my church and, and so i serve him diligently so i'm eligible to receive that blessing so i said god you said in your word if i serve you it shouldn't even be in my midst you know it shouldn't be in my midst so I said, God, he's somebody that works closely with me every day. He's in my midst. And then also you said in your word to my forefather Abraham, I will bless you to be a blessing. So you're not just blessing me with healing and, and deliverance and protection just for me. You're blessing me so that I can help believe for people who work for me. And I said, God, I want to use this opportunity just to give you glory in front of him and for you to be lifted up in front of him and so just about 10 minutes ago he sent me a message saying i got a negative report and i sent a message saying thank you jesus because the thing is you know it's interesting you know i you know i, I listened to you know certain pastors and, and and one of them have really has said that spiritual things are like natural things You can tell when someone takes and receives what you are, 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 are God is, 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 is having passed from you to that person. Like, for instance, if I got a dollar bill, I can tell if someone takes it or not or it comes back to me. When I had prayed that morning, this morning, before, I'm just before the negative report, I prayed and I used those scriptures in my prayer. I was just telling you. I felt something leave me. I felt virtue come out of me. Before I even got the text message back of him saying, thank you, thank you. I felt the virtue come out of me. You know how like Jesus said, you know, with the woman, you feel virtue coming out. You can, you can, you can sense it coming out. I, and I said, he received it. And I was at peace the whole day. And I remember uh, Alfredo, he just texted me back. See, when you're in faith, you're not anxious. You're not anxious to try and see if it worked. No, no. It's already, you already know it worked. Because I mean, when I saw his name, I said, oh, he's texting me to let me know he's negative. I'm not, I'm not nervous or, or in fear wondering, is he negative? And I said, no, he's negative. I had to look at the text messages. I'm like, oh, he negative. Because in my, in my spirit, I, I, I sense virtue come out. So I already know I walk by faith, not by, my, not by sight. No, no matter what I see, I already know he's negative because virtue came out of me. And I trust by the spirit. We walk, you know, I, 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 I trust what I spiritually sensed take place more than so than, you know, you know, my mind waiting to catch up. So, you know, that's important. You know what I mean? For, you know, uh, uh, 
you know, leaders to understand there's things about you and on you that God is trying to, is wants to get to the people that are following you. It's, they're not just there just to work for you. They're not just there to, you know, to, to help make money or something like that. No, you need to pray for them. You need to pray for them. You need to make sure if, if anything's coming up against you. And, and, and there's times or there's other times, you know, but, I, I you know, you got to ask questions, see what's going on with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, God, he belongs to me. And because I serve God, whether you whether he serves God or not, that doesn't make a difference. Just because some people are blessed just because of the people they're connected to. And it has nothing to do with what they're doing. Nothing. It's just because of the people you're connected to. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's what God gave me. You know, God doesn't want leaders to be feel pressured. He doesn't want your leaders to feel pressured. Because the fact that you're a leader... What you're doing affects the people that that what what whatever's on your life, whether that's pressure, whether that's fear, or whatever that is, it produces on the lives of the people that are working for you. And that's why God don't put people in certain situations, in circumstances, to be leaders because they'd be wondering, well, why you know why I wasn't picked for this? Could be because God had it was false because God knows something about you that he he said I cannot let I cannot let that get on the people that you're going to be leading. I can't let it get on the people. No, can't happen. So, you know, that's what I have for the day. Uh, didn't mean, really mean to go this long, but God to put that on my heart and I want to share, you know, so, you know, uh, you know, leaders are very, you know, important responsibility. And, 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 you know, as I'm reading this book by, you know, the 21 irrefutable laws of leadership, God is dealing with me. In between the chapters, you know, not even just the chapter, but in between saying, look, this is what I want to say. And, and God, is, and because I'm, I'm reading a book, God is, it's like it, it opens the door for God to even add to it. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's important. Knowledge is important. Knowledge is the key to a lot of things, to a lot of breakthroughs. You know, a lot of people are stagnant in their breakthrough because of the lack of knowledge. That's why I'm, I'm, I am joyful to be able to learn more and, and, and just be able to know God more and know, understand what he's, he wants to teach me because I need to know more. You know what I mean? What I know now is not enough. I need to know more so that I can not only do more for my family, but do more for the people that are working for me. Like the little word says, you know, God has made you a blessing to be a blessing. You know, so um, I'm about to get out of here. Hope you all are, are enjoying your day. I'll be back at you with another video.